How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Source Code, and this is crazy, but we are already on episode 10, so anyone who's been here for the whole series, thank you so much for watching, and so what we're going to be working on today is we're going to be making custom, uh, custom firework here uh, to go ahead and add on to our join event, and I sort of already have the code here because I started working on it here, but I messed it up a little bit, um, so I wanted to start over. And just a reminder, everything will be on my GitHub, so go over there and follow me on there. Nextly, make sure not to skip around this video or you guys could miss something um, that could drastically change the outcome of your plugin. So first things first is we need to call for Firework, and we will just call this Firework, or actually we'll just call it a FW just for short. And then we need to create a cast of Firework here. And then what we need to do is, well, actually let's do this without doing it just so we can see what's going to happen here. Um, then we just want to go ahead and call for player.getworld.spawn and we want to do player.getlocation player and then we want to call for fireworks.class alright let's go ahead and import everything firework sorry firework.class all right, um, so that's actually, it might actually let us do this now without casting it to Firework. Um, everything that I've ever seen before and how I've done, I've always had to cast Firework onto that. Um, but let's go ahead and see what happens here. And so the next thing that we need is we need the Firework meta. So that's kind of similar to item meta. Um, so FW meta equals uh, FW dot get, not meta, just get Firework meta. And let's go ahead and import that. All right, and so now with this meta, well, let's actually just downsize this to uh, uh, M. Uh, firework, FWM, just to keep things easy and simple. So FWM, so then we want to do FWM dot uh, get, or sorry, dot add effect, sorry, add effect. So now there is there is a few ways you can do fireworks, just so you know it's not one distinct um way to do it um but we actually need to do dot f f fm dot we should have to create a builder here i'm not really sure why we don't have to do that but let's go ahead and just try and add an effect and we will go firework effect dot builder. There's our builder. Um, so let's actually just create our, our our builder class here. So firework uh, builder builder equals oh okay, it's just builder now. So everything's changed since the last time I did this. So sorry about that. I'm still recording this uh, from being sick. So we're just gonna call for uh, builder dot, and we're gonna call for now. What you can do here is you can actually call everything on one single add effect. Um, but usually it's better to just kind of keep things uh, separate, um, just because it makes things easier here. So we'll actually uh, we'll go color dot. Uh, we want it to be uh, let's have it be blue. And then at the end here, we want to just go ahead and call build because we need to build that, right? So we're calling for a flicker. So we don't actually really need the with flicker there. So we're calling for a flicker and with color. And let's just go ahead and call another FWM dot add effect. And we're going to call builder dot uh, trail. We're going to set that to true. And then we're going to call dot with trail. Oops, sorry. Uh, let's see. And so now, okay, so that's all we need right there. So it's going to have a trail, and we're going to call build, and we're going to call another uh, fwm.add effect, and we're going to go builder dot with fade, because we wanted to have a fade. Um, so we're going to call with fade, and it's going to fade out to color dot orange. Let's let's do that, and then let's build that. And let me just make sure I got all this on there. 
Okay, we should be okay there. Let me just double check all that. All right, and let's uh, let's set the power next. We want to set the power. So how f high it's going to 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 be, pretty much. That set power, and we'll just set this as uh, we'll set that as two. I'm not really sure how that's gonna how that's gonna be. And then we're just gonna go fw dot set firework meta fwm. Okay, and so now when we join the server, this should go up and spawn us a firework. There we go. And it fades out to orange there. So pretty cool, pretty easy. I did mess up a little bit because a few things changed since the last time that I did. I know I probably should have done a little pre-video beforehand. Um, <coughs> but now let's just, uh, let's add something else here, right? Because we, we don't want just, just a plain old, you know, firework. So let's do fwm.add effect builder dot uh, I don't remember what it's called it actually might not even be available anymore type here we go so we want firework type or let's just try type sorry type dot uh, we want burst and then we're gonna go ahead and go over to build all right and let's reload that let's exit the server and so now every time a player joins the server, it shoots off a firework uh, with the burst. But let's just change that to uh, something a little bit more noticeable so we can make sure it works. A creeper. And let's reload. And let's rejoin. So the creeper is up there. It's just hard to see because we have our power uh, so high. So let's just rejoin here. So there it is, pretty cool. So obviously you guys can once again do this in soft code or hard code, which I mentioned last episode. Um, you know, <coughs> excuse me. You can hard code it if you don't really care to ever really change it, or you can soft code it if you wanna always kind of make it available to be changed, um, and that can get a little bit complicated. So if you guys want a video explaining that, I can go ahead and make a video on how to soft code certain things and certain variables. So the next thing I want to talk about is making it so maybe they only get it on their first join. So we can say if player dot has played before, we we run this code. Um, but we want it so if the player has not played before. So we're gonna add the exclamation point like we did before. Um, so if the player has not played before, throw that uh custom firework there so let's reload here let's rejoin and we can see now that it's not throwing the firework because obviously i have played on here before so that's all i got for you guys in this video if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a comment drop a like and subscribe also everything will be available for you on github so make sure to go over there and check your code with my code to make sure everything's working out okay and lastly be sure to tweet at me and follow me on twitter you can follow me at the underscore underscore so, yeah the underscore underscore the underscore source underscore code and you can tweet at me using the hashtag tsc coding and that's all i got for you guys today thank you very much